90% of Southern Nevada's drinking water begins as snow or rain in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado. After the snow melts and drains into the river, the water travels hundreds of miles before reaching Lake Mead. The Southern Nevada Water Authority draws and pumps this water to its state-of-the-art water treatment facilities. Following treatment that ensures water meets all state and federal Safe Drinking Water Act standards, water flows through an intricate network of pipes, pumps, and reservoirs before reaching its final destination, your home. As a regional agency, the Water Authority secures long-term water resources and oversees conservation planning. The Water Authority also provides water treatment and wholesale delivery for Southern Nevada, delivering treated drinking water from Lake Mead to area water providers who then deliver water to you, the customer. SNWA helps to ensure safe and reliable water delivery by operating two of the nation's most advanced water treatment facilities, River Mountains and Alfred Merritt Smith. Water quality starts at Lake Mead, the largest man-made reservoir in the nation. Spanning nearly 250 square miles, Lake Mead is also impressively deep. The Water Authority's third intake plums these depths to draw the freshest, purest water. The third intake is designed to maintain access to our community's primary water supply, even as lake levels continue to decline. The third intake extends into the lowest portions of Lake Mead, ensuring that we have access to our water even though the lake levels continue to decline. Now, the deeper water is easier to treat, easier to disinfect, and provides higher quality water to our customers. The pumping station, currently under construction, will work in tandem with the third intake to provide quality water to over 2 million Valley residents. When the pumping station is completed in 2020, SNWA will have the ability to draw water from the lake even if lake levels drop too low for Hoover Dam to release water to downstream users in California, Arizona, and Mexico. Once water travels through intake number three to SNWA's treatment facilities, state-of-the-art ozonation is the primary treatment process. Ozone provides an effective disinfectant that destroys bacteria and waterborne pathogens. The next step in treatment is multi-stage filtration, which includes a step known as flocculation. Particles in the water form clumps called flock. The flock is so small it can't be seen by the naked eye. Flocculated water passes through multiple filters that trap and remove these particles. Chlorine is then added to the water as it leaves the treatment facilities. Both chlorine and corrosion control efforts further protect the water as it journeys through the pipeline distribution system. Sometimes 30 miles or more uphill, on its way to you. Well, most of our water is delivered by gravity to our customers. This means that we use the natural principle of allowing the water to simply flow downhill. We locate our reservoirs farther uphill from, a, from the customers they serve, and thus, when that water just simply flows naturally out of the pipes, uh, we get water to the tap. Also, providing the water uphill gives our customers the adequate uh, tap pressure that they need. Highly skilled operators guide water through a series of pumping facilities to move water to reservoirs and water tanks throughout the community. Reservoirs provide sufficient storage to meet our home and business water needs, as well as fire protection to support our community's first responders. The Las Vegas Valley Water District, the cities of North Las Vegas and Henderson, maintain more than 100 reservoir basins and tanks that collectively hold more than a billion gallons of water. The Las Vegas Valley Water District is building its first reservoir in 10 years. Well, this reservoir is designed to meet the growing needs of Summerlin. We're about 33 miles as the crow flies from Lake Mead, where we get most of our water, and this will hold about 10 million gallons of water. It takes a lot of energy to pump that water up the hill from 33 miles away. We do that primarily at, in the evening hours. Uh, we don't have the constant droning of pumps, and it helps to reduce costs by using it, uh, the energy during the evening when those costs are reduced. To maintain water quality in the distribution system, operators and distribution personnel keep a watchful eye on flows, water levels, system pressures, and pumping activities. They work 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, to monitor your water quality. Considering the important role that water plays in our daily lives, local water providers in Southern Nevada are committed to maintaining reliable water infrastructure that safely meets our community's water needs. By the time water reaches your tap, it's been treated and tested to the highest state and federal standards.